Hello again, as you welcome back to Madgo Machinations. I'm, of course, Madgo, and today we're playing a bit more Dungeons 2 because it is really fun. Uh, <laughs> now, last time. Once the ultimate evil had escaped from the depths, that. still fettered to the throne, it travelled to wreak terrible vengeance on those who had done this, heavily supported by its little snots. The first target was Paladin Robert, now King of the Alliance. He had withdrawn to the quiet surroundings of his hunting lodge. There, he would be the perfect victim. <laughs> I love having the hand of terror as a thing. That's a, that's a good thing to have. Well, it's an evil thing to have, but you know what I mean. Sorry about walls and doors, okay. So walls and doors are good things. Who According knew? to the oh, scouts, King Robert Let's spent most it. of his time strolling around his hunting lodge garden reciting poetry. Soon his poetry would turn into mournful ballads. This pleases me. The vengeful evil thirsted to defeat the Alliance's king and mount his head on the wall as a trophy. Whoops, of course, I really mean that he wanted to take all of King Robert's cookies away. Better play it safe, or the age classification folks will be after me. Damn them! Before that, however, the ultimate evil had to do a bit of work on the dungeon. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to fund even a small army made up of a few orcs. Oh dear. Um, so we got Snoops, Snuffer, and Snupsy. What happened? What? Everybody else? Ah, oh, bloody hell, in a new dungeon. Still looking cool, though. Uh, hire three orcs. So first, I'm going to need me some gold. Let's see what we got. Uh, that's cool. So that... I'm guessing that's a pit trap or some shit like that. Uh... Okay, what we'll do is, we'll mine. Mining is fun, right? Faster! Faster! I'm a lovely boss. That's also, that is just cool. Just, bit of death. Where is my rooms? Room, treasury. Put that there. The first treasury was completed. Soon greedy evil's little snots would fill it with gold. You know the greedy? Gold rule, right? Whoever has the gold makes the rules. Society, ladies and gentlemen. Society. <laughs> Capitalism. It's fantastic. <laughs> I like the effects as well, they're just nice little touches. Right really. now, the restricted evil was only able to call upon orcs and little snots. But there had been rumours that some goblins were hiding out in a cave somewhere close by. The exploratory evil would be sure to follow this line of inquiry. Okay, this is our permanent vein. Cool, I need that. Um, so, I have 15, which means, first of all, I'm going to get myself a few more snots. Because, one... Then I'm going to need a brewery, because uh, that's a thing. Room. Production. Brewery. The first brewery was completed. Soon beer would be flowing like a river, and an Oktoberfest atmosphere would pervade all. Would the ultimate evil put the beer baron out of business? Ugh, such a duff reference. <laughs> duff. <laughs> duff man! Doesn't approve of my copyright infringement. The strategy guidebook, Dungeons for Dummies, says <clears throat> Mountains don't always just consist of rocks and stone, but may also include natural as well as artificial caves and rooms. These usually contain treasures and dangers to make digging around underground more exciting. So I like the fact that there's two actually these two maps on like the right and left. So on the right we've got the dungeon and on the left we got the ups like the the nice people who live above ground. Those dicks. Um, you know the kind. Let's do a bit of exploring, shall we then? Um, I don't know where I'm meant to explore. We'll explore here, because this looks like it's got stuff in it. Cool. Okay. 
we'll get to work on hiring the North. Just so we have one. evil had hired the first orc. As ancient wisdom says, violence is a solution. Usually the only one. Let, let my gold get built up. Uh, this is I like that there's like every soft there's a permanent bed, and that's quite kinda cool. It's a nice touch. It means I don't need to worry about resources. <laughs> Which would have been a word. Should never forget to keep a watchful eye on its beer and gold stores. If its creatures can't help themselves whenever they need to, they will get angry. Fast. Me, 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 me. Well, luckily this guy is currently making this more efficient by making walls, so that's good. Um, I could use more gold though, so that's a thing. I'm guessing this is gold. Um, I hope it's gold. It would make sense if it was, but I could be wrong. Because after all, I am a bit of an idiot. I'm mad god, what do you expect? <laughs> if you come here for high level plays, Ijum, and you've come to the wrong place. What is this? The steady Two pounding boxes. in the rocks have given rise to overworld rumours of a new dungeon. A group of heroes set out to plunder its riches, and the ultimate evil met already oh, shit. forward to this visit. <laughs> yeah. Another orc entered the service of the military savvy evil. The horde was growing and prospering. Excellent. Thereup, the ultimate evil slowly made itself cozy underground. Although it was a sensible decision, there was a large and lovely overworld out there, just waiting to be destroyed. Up you get, fellas. Payday. Kill! Kill my pretty orcs! Ah, uh, good, go to work, boys! Yeah, Zemish and... What's his name? Musket. Muscat? Holy shit, that's a lot of gold. Um num 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 num, I say. The I don't heroes know what... didn't know what had hit them, as several orcs bore down from nowhere and annihilated them. This group of heroes had plundered their last dungeon, but their... the time to attack appeared to be right. On the surface, in the tavern of a small, miserable village, some adventurers gathered. They were acquiring Dutch courage for their visit to the dungeon by downing several beers. The dungeon had to be destroyed. I need to find out where these... There's apparently goblins down here, and I want them. I want them to join my mighty army. But I need to find them first, which is annoying. But... Uh, oh, hang on. Destroy the Alliance Village. Um, so did I just go out here and just go... Okay. How do I do that? I just go outside and go, girl. Charge, fellows. There we go. <gasps> I get to play this RTS. Oh, that is awesome. And they forgot got their names. And Rihanna K. That was an unexpected name for an orc. Oh, well. Wow. Kill the pig. Death to the pig. Now kill the people who are probably more important. Ooh, these guys are actually tough. Come on, fellas. Come on. There we go. We might actually lose an orc doing this. Except, I think that was the big boss. These are the weaker scrubs. Death to the scrubs. Holy shit, there's lots of them. Bloody scrubs! Alright, hang on. Rihanna! Quick! Destroy the thing! Oh, are you fucking serious? I'm gonna need to go hire more or orcs. Hello. To the door! On you go. Right, have we found the fellows yet? No. Why have we not found anybody? You guys are seriously letting me down, you know that? Right, back to the front. Go. Murder, murder, murder. <laughs> Nobody died. We're just so badass. Cool. We got four now. 
Yeah. A delicious rumble announced the fact that the village's last house had crashed to the crash ground. Ha! There would be no more heroes meeting there to seek out the dungeon of the destruction hungry evil. The hunting lodge of King Robert lay in the north. It was there that the ultimate evil would finally get its long awaited revenge. However, it looked <gasps> There's the goblins. Maybe it should first visit the cave to the west, inhabited by a clan of goblins, where the cunning evil hunting to a little negotiating. I don't think my negotiation is going to... Oh, holy shit, where am I now? The fuck have I gone? I don't know! Click on the... I don't... I don't the Hello. goblin leader prostrated himself joyfully before the ultimate evil and immediately dispatched two goblins into its dungeon with a few plans for a new room, a tinkerer's cave. This was built as quickly as possible. Uh, rooms? No. Tinkerer's cave. There we go. The tinkerer's cave was built. It could, however, only be used as a warehouse as it lacked the workshop that the insidious evil's goblins needed. Quick as a flash, Evil placed a creator mat in the Tinkerer's Cave. A sparkling new creator mat graced the Tinkerer's Cave of the expansion Hungry Evil. A goblin would be able to work well in here, producing toolboxes. A few of these boxes would now be needed in order to invent a trap. The moody Evil waited patiently. Okay, that's cool. I like this. Um, so we've quickly got access to a new room. We are go got a goblin as well, which is awesome. Two of them, in fact. Uh, cool. I have really no idea what the hell's going on anymore. Uh, <laughs> to the rooms. Uh, production. So I'll build a bigger Tinker's Cave. Then they'll like me better. There we go. No, chaps. You fellas can't all come back to here. There we go. It's. Payday. Payday. Oh, my, the audio went a bit weird there. It's payday, which is sad faces for me, really. Um, I thought they were in here, but they're, apparently they're not. I'm just digging up the place for no apparent reason. Um, that's how I roll. should probably build a slightly bigger brewery then because this is kind of tiny and you know I don't want people saying that my brewery is tiny that's just not all it wouldn't be cool at all um, we, got a, we got a good bit of gold um, got some guys to work on it Cool! Exploding treasure chest. <laughs> here's, it. here's some lovely treasure for you. Oh wait, no it isn't. Uh, let's deactivate all this. I don't need anything over here done. Oops. Nope. Production, brewery. Rip. Cool. Make sure everyone gets paid, everyone's happy, and nobody's sad. Um, come on, I'd like my trap, please. As cowardly as the goblins were, their creativity more than made up for this. They proudly presented the treacherous evil with their plan for a devious trap. With a silent evil cackle, it quickly buckled down to setting the trap. Don't really care. Um, Speed it up, snuffer. 
Right, what do these guys do? Uh, goblin, goblin assassin. Ooh! So there's like. Is there any, like, big. No, is there any. Little snots. So there's like bigger. Bigger ones, essentially. There we go. All better. Nice little trap. So whenever we, anybody, uh, heroes come in here, they go la 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 la. Ooh, treasure. Pow, pow. That's pretty much the basics of my plan. Uh, I didn't want to get too technical for you, ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, it's hard being so evil, and I have a degree in it. So, I actually have a degree in politics, which is pretty much the same thing. There's a lot of things over here. I would very much like to... This is my spells, okay. I don't have that just yet. Job done. The trap was finished and ready to be found by a hero. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Just at that moment, a particularly powerful dwarf warrior appeared in the dungeon. How had he suddenly arrived at this precise time <laughs> was indeed most odd, but his presence was more than welcome. He was going to be a guinea pig for the trap. Fuck you, dwarf. Even this strong dwarf warrior didn't stand a chance against the treacherous traps That's cool. and powerful monsters of the invincible evil. He bit the dust. So much for a game of dwarves. <laughs> the dungeon's defenses were now clearly much improved, but the hunting lodge still remained well protected and impregnable. There was nothing that the ultimate evil could do. The task was impossible. So the evil withdrew bent and broken. Let feelings of revenge ebb away, and instead took up looking after those cute, teeny weeny trees. Oh no! What are they called again? Bonsai, yes, that's it. No! Pretty unsatisfactory, huh? Of course, that wasn't the end. In reality, the indefatigable evil paid the goblin cave another little visit. The goblin leader would hopefully spit out something useful after a few more slaps. Uh, where are my boys? Fellas, I need you. Damage! Come freaking here. The expansion driven evil couldn't wait to explore the further possibilities of the Tinkerer's Cave. In particular, a hospital seemed a useful way to cure its ailing units. It set about asking for this to be researched. Awesome. Chaps. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it's so pretty and nice. Ah, oh, it must burn. It all must burn. Ah. Beat up the goblin chieftain. I'm pretty sure three orcs will do the job. I hope. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Nope, he's got mates. The charitable evil had researched the hospital. This would enable its units to quickly recover from their injuries. Once it had been built, that is. A few hard slaps were enough to motivate the leader of the goblins to help the ultimate evil. As it transpired, there was an old tunnel which had been previously used as an escape route. This connected the goblin cave with the vaults of the hunting lodge. The goblin leader voluntarily made a goblin assassin available to the hard-hitting evil to help infiltrate the lodge. Chaps, I need some workers over here now. I need to build a hospital. Ooh, I can only research upgrades. That's cool. Faster, chaps. Faster. There we go. Come on. I don't have time for this. Ooh, things. There we go. Um, so, leave your goblins through the underground. Okay, where's my goblin assassin then? Hang on. Hello! 
Enemies have entered the dungeon. Under the castle. Oh, that's cool. Oh, shit. Hang on. Oh, crap. Um, I only have one guy over here. Oop. Gents, get your asses back over here. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Shit. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, crap, 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 crap. Where's everyone? Go! I have faith in him, but shit. Your dungeon is full of yogurt. Yogurt? What's this all about? There's absolutely no yogurt. Oh, oh, it's supposed to be a funny illusion. I see. Where did all my gold go as well? Jesus Christ! What the fuck's going on down here, gents? The caring evil had good-naturedly built a hospital for its suffering creatures. It, however, oh, shit. came back to hospital bed. Little snots would then bring any units there that had been injured in the dungeon. Oh dear. I'm going to build this bit by bit, it seems. Ah, shit. But right, is everybody dead? Good. Right, fellas, you, you all, like, chill. Heal up. You guys, you really need to go faster. Stop doing that! <laughs> this guy's a bag of Gee, fuck a dick! <laughs> Stop hurting everybody else! The first hospital bed had been built. Wounded units could now be healed in the hospital. Little snots would also be able to bring defeated creatures here, so that they could be nursed back to health. I think I'm going to need more of these little fellas. Uh, I don't have enough gold. Shit! It's all going terribly wrong for me, ladies and gentlemen. I need to, need to restock. Or just go and do the mission. There's an idea. Do, 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 do. The cheerful evil was pleased with this support. An assassin was a decent melee fighter, but its actual strength lay in its ability to make itself invisible. This was, of course, tested out immediately. That is awesome. Despite the powerful invisibility skill, it was advisable for the ultimate evil to be cautious. Some opponents had such highly trained observation skills that they were actually able to see invisible units. How oh, dare they? Alright. A locked door prevented the assassin from progressing. It would have taken a long, long, long time for him to have opened it with sheer brute force using weaponry. Thankfully, he had a suitable skill with which he could deactivate doors, and more importantly, traps. Oh shit, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Crap. And so the negligent evil promptly allowed the only really vital unit to this mission to die. The goblin leader sighed <laughs> and put his second best assassin at evil's disposal. Okay, I fucked that up a little bit. Right. <laughs> but it was funny. So, I'll live with that. Uh, I'm going to go back here for a second. I'm going to production it. No. Rooms. Build more hospitals. Uh, so I can build more bed. There we go. Cool. Right. Back under the castle we go. Where is it? There you are. Right. Do, 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 there are enemies in your dungeon. Ah, shit. Payday. And it's payday. Oh, it's all going terribly wrong. Right. Um, 
Right, you come back here. Deactivate invisibility. Hold position. Back in here we go. Uh, you fellas. Sorry, gents. Uh, I need you to go do some stuff with me first. There we go. Back under the castle we go. Uh, where we have a door. This fellow. This time, we won't be stupid. I swear. Enemies the on the ball evil recognized that the warrior princess there was extremely powerful. The goblin assassin would be best advised to avoid any contact with her. Ah, shit. Cool. So, somewhere down here there's some shit. <laughs> oh shit! A gobo bot was being forced to make miserable repairs in the lodge. A brief feeling of what it thought might be sympathy passed through the sensitive evil, but this actually turned out to be a mighty belch. Naturally, it would free the useful gobo bot anyway. We have a Gobblebot? Jeez, we have a lot of stuff in here. Right. Over here, I've got this fellow. I'd like to let him recharge for a bit, because he does not have a lot of magic going for him right now. Um... Kill the door guard to free the- Oh, I get it. Uh, right, we'll go invisible. We'll sneak up behind the dick, and we'll stab him in the back. Because I assume that'll work well. Yeah! We got a gobble bot. We have a flamethrower! Yeah! Hello. Elated by the assassin's attempt at rescuing it, the Gobobot joined the horde and succeeded in showing its tormentors a real hot time. Its ability to more or less ignore range damage and set fire to large areas would come in very handy. School let the Gobobot go first, because Gobobot is Gobobot. Aha, uh -huh, fellas! Burn, 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 burn. Burn, baby, burn. This works quite well. I enjoy this. Oh, shit! And so the negligent evil probably allowed the only really vital unit to this mission to die. Goblin lead aside and put his second best assassin at Evil's disposal at the basement exit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did not notice that was a thing. Does this have any, like, abilities? Enemies have entered the dungeon. Whew. Ooh, everyone is looking a bit kind of beat up right now. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Get, destroy that, quickly. Shit. Shit. And there's people also coming down in here. The dicks. The hunting lodge was completely destroyed. The vengeful evil gave itself a very self-satisfied pat on the back. The time was right to concentrate on King Robert. He was in his renowned garden reciting his much less renowned love poems. The lyrically challenged evil had no time for poetry and would soon make this tangibly clear to him. 
Oh shit, hang on. No, I want the Gobblebot to survive! It must survive! They all must survive! Nobody dies in my... Just kill. That Make sure they're all dead. I need... These guys need to heal up, frankly. So I'm gonna send them back home, let them get rested up, because the Gobblebot is quite handy. Uh, but I'd rather it not die straight away, so... That's a thing. Bloody sheep! There's apparently an enemy in here somewhere. What the fuck is that? There he is. Is that a goblin? A traitor goblin? Oh, that traitor. Oh, saving. Go to King Robert. Oh yeah, there's an autosave feature. I completely forgot that was a thing. Which means I've been going for about 30 minutes. I know this it's now. It's payday. Now, oh, balls. Of course it is. <sighs> dear, dear, dear. That's a permanent scene. Okay. That's a waste of time. Uh, hospital. Alright, let these guys get all healed up, and then we're gonna go on a full massive charge. So, how do I get there? I'm trying to figure out how I do my full massive charge. Aha! That's the path. Okay. So, we'll get all our, our folks all healed up, then we will go completely crazy. But these guys seriously need to heal, <laughs> because they're all fucked up. Now I'm just going to annoy people. <laughs> there we go. You would not need to be beating a ballot. Sir, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, our assassin's nearly ready to go. Our, our gobble bot is taking a wee while longer. Which is kind of sad, but I guess it has more health, so it takes a while. But come on, we got to go kill King Robert. So then... Joffrey can take the throw. Oh god, I'm the one who did this. It was all me. There was no boar. <laughs> oh no, I'm a terrible person. I like his name, just Wizard. That's kind of cool. Uh, he's not a wizard. He's a wizard. They're completely different. But he needs to heal fucking faster. Come on, don't make me smack the shit out of you. Smack a gobot up. Gobblebot, sorry. Not a GoBot. That's something completely different, I think. I don't know, is a GoBot a thing? I don't know. The Nereus has also been quite quiet for a while, which is kind of sad. Because that means I have to do the talking. But nobody really wants that, let's be fair. Nobody watches my videos for that. <laughs> right, GoBot is Go. I know it's not a GoBot, but fuck it. It is now. Right, everybody. Not you. Snobsy. Fuck off. Everyone else. Prepare. Prepare for the epic battle that is to come. Where is the other one? I know I've got more of these chaps in here. Where the fuck did they go? One, two, three, four. Actually, is that everybody? There's a goblin somewhere. I know it. There he is. Time to go. Hi. Strong are you? Not immensely, but we'll make do. Right, fellows. Let's go. Come, chaps. Is what she said. Tee hee 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 hee. I made an innuendo joke. I'm so funny. Off we go. I've got a nice little army. I really want some of these guys. Trolls. Trolls are cool. Troll juggernaut. That just sounds awesome. It's not just a troll. It's a proper juggernaut. Who is that fucker? I don't know. I don't know. 
We'll never know. We'll let him run free. Oh, someone's making dramatic noise behind me. Right, gents, let's do this. Corrupt the world as you go, please. I said, oh, hello. Yeah, that, that guy got a he little bit old. He was accompanied by a pixie who was able to cast powerful healing magic. Bunny! Any direct attack would be suicidal. Kill the bunny Mostly, rabbits! The omniscient and helpful narrator was at hand. He pointed out to the impatient evil that the pixie went off from time to time in order to check that all was well, and much more importantly, eat her supper in a little camp to the south. The pixie buzzed over to eat her meal. The ultimate evil prepared an ambush. By burning everything to the ground! As is the way- Oh, that's a thing. Can someone pick up that thing? Where, where is this pixie? Kill! Kill the fucker! Kill the bitch! No! Come back! <sighs> One would think that killing a fragile flying being wouldn't be rocket science. But an incredibly incompetent evil had taken far too long in doing so and had startled a few guards into action. I care not. Had spoken her last healing spell. There we go. The crafty-minded evil sculpted a fan from her wings. Now it was Ooh. time to look for King Robert. Arts and Crafts. His early demand. King Robert fell, and the ultimate evil had received its well-deserved revenge. But there were still many more heroes out there who deserved to bite the dust. Their time would come. I like how I just bring lava everywhere I go. But that's our level, ladies and gentlemen. We killed King Robert, and thus Game of Thrones will come to pass. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, my ghost, my god, my connections, playing Dungeons 2. Remember to comment, like,